Hi friends, welcome back. So I showed you previously some molds that I got from Michaels. I had a 20% off of everything. So I did get a few items. And another one of the items that I got was also by UV Resin Craft. And these, this is a mold for earrings. It has three sets of earrings with it. And it does have some earring pieces with it. So this was $5.99 and then 20% off. Now, I did the others with epoxy and they are currently working. So you may actually see this one first. So that might be confusing. <laughs> so I went to Michael's. They haven't had a 40 or 50% off yet since the coronavirus, at least not that I've seen, but it was a 20% off entire store. So I did get some different molds. So I have two more that I've been working on over the past couple days and they are in the process of curing. So I thought that I would also do one using UV resin and see how that comes out. So this mold, I think will require, this will require maybe a couple different layers, especially for these thicker ones, because with the UV resin, you don't want to just fill up something super thick and let it go. It doesn't cure very well that way. So I'll be doing a couple different layers. I will fast forward through the UV cure time just because you don't want to sit there and watch that. Um, however, with my light, it says, and with my resin, it says two to four minutes for the UV cure. So just so you know, each time I put it under, I put it under for four minutes. All right, so this is the resin that I'm using. I got this on Amazon. And then I'll also be using this colored resin by Let's Resin. And it also came from Amazon. I have some different glitters that I may or may not use. I got these from AliExpress. And then I have these little trinket boxes of nail art. I got these from Amazon. And then I do have some different tools. I have some different tweezers, popsicle sticks, and then just some different types of tools. All right, so there is my mold. I've got my tools ready. And what I'm gonna do is first do a small layer of this colored resin in these little round ones. And then I'm gonna do just some clear resin in the bigger ones and put some little jewels in there. One of the things that I did realize is that I put the jewels, I thought that I was putting the jewels in the right way and I wasn't thinking that actually that side is what is up front and I should have put them against the side so they really don't look right. And you'll see when this is over. And I... I'm just going to put it in. It goes in for four minutes and then I'm going to just continue. So on these small circle ones, I'm just going to use different colors of the colored resin in layers because I want to make it look kind of like a rainbow. So I just use all the different colors and I try and do the same to each one of the earrings so they look the same and then in the small round earrings I did some red color and then I put some pink jewels in there and I put a little bit of pink colored resin over the top of it and then in the bigger ones I did clear with the jewels that I put in the wrong way and then I did a little bit of black over it and some more clear and then total I ended up doing on the small little earrings I did three layers 
And then on the other two sets, I ended up doing it in about four layers of put some in and then put it under the light for the four minutes. All right, so I believe that was the last time out. So now I'm going to start taking them out. And while I'm putting on the earring backs, now I'm going to put the earring backs on only one set of these curved ones for now. And this is the rainbow set. So what I do is I'm going to take my earring back and I'm going to put a little bit of resin on it. And then I'm going to hold it under for 30 seconds. And then I'll set it on my mold. And then I'll do that with both of them. And then I'll put it under and let it do four minutes. So because I want the earring backs to be able to hold on. And the reason why I hold them under for the 30 seconds first is so that they don't slide when I'm trying to put them on. Now, a viewer previously had told me, you see what my where I have my resin right now? I've tried I've been trying to be really good about it. Now, make sure that you're moving your resin out of the way of your light because you'll end up curing your resin in the bottle. And I had a viewer that told me that. I'm so grateful because I didn't even think about it. So look how pretty these rainbow ones turned out. I think they are really nice. Now these ones, they turn out okay. I definitely, you know, could have done something better with them. But this at least lets us see, you know, how big they are and what the shape looks like. I definitely put the jewels on the side instead of that front piece right there where I should have put it. So next time I know better. And then the next ones are these little small ones. So what I'm going to do with them is just sort of lightly sit them back inside the mold and I take a pair of scissors and I just trim off. I had a little piece that needed to come off, so that was easy to take off. And then I put them back inside the mold and I'm gonna use my resin again and I'm gonna put some earring backs on them, put it under for 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna take them out of the mold and just set them on the foil and put it back under for four minutes so that they cure really well and the earring backs are in place properly. So these also came out really cute. I think that this is so fun because, you know, like I've said before, you can just make a pair, pair of earrings to match something that you want to wear. You can make them as a gift. There are so many fun things that you can do with these. And I just think that these turn out super cute. And then these little rainbow ones, look how cute those turned out also. I really like them a lot. Now the big ones didn't necessarily turn out great, but you can at least, you know, get an idea of the size. All right, listen, have a great day. So listen, if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. I'd love to have you as a subby friend. Bye guys, have a great day.